Hallelujah. 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 I made up my mind as a person and as a man of God that I will never be ordinary that my life and everything about it will be extraordinary always not just because I want a name for myself not at all because I have found out that when you follow the natural course of things time will cheat you men will cheat you systems will cheat you you need to have an advantage that is beyond the natural course are we together it's good to follow the laws of prosperity I have taught you but following only the natural laws of prosperity save Johnny you will see when God will bless you or you will see when you'll be empowered in this wicked and evil world when you are one Lord to break through an evil man will reverse you back to start again more than compliance with the laws they are there and they are important I've taught you but there has to be an engracing that can pick you on the wings of the spirit remember that the unit of destiny is time that's why God brought possibilities like speed like restoration these are forces that insist and ensure that you live a victorious life are we learning now in Acts chapter 7 and verse 22 let's look at two scriptures very quickly Acts chapter 7 and verse 22 media please help us the Bible says and Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and in deeds look at such a man do you know what that meant even though he was not an Egyptian he did not have the history there was a supernatural engracing upon him he learned the wisdom of the Egyptians he was mighty both in words and indeed they were preparing Moses already the level of excellence from his life he was inevitably going to be the next Pharaoh that's why when he returned you see as at the time Moses returned back to Egypt the Pharaoh he left had died it was his son Ramesses who was his friend that was why when Moses looked at him and said Pharaoh I'm sure Ramesses will look at him and say dear brother good to see you after over 40 years the only difference is that you have returned back stupid you were wiser when you left you've forgotten that this is Egypt you come and stand looking like a fugitive with a staff and tell me some deity you met in the forest said I should come and release these people who have been in captivity for 430 years Moses you have the wisdom of the Egyptians and he said all right I'm not here for a long story let the rods I told you that they are also preachers I finished my preaching let the rod start his own sermon and when he threw the rod it became a serpent I can imagine Pharaoh laughing and saying you still remember and he called Janus and Jembes the wizards of Egypt and they came and made caricature of the rod of Moses they threw Pharaoh's rod it also became a serpent and God use that most of you have not discerned the sermon of the rods those rods preached a message that you need to understand you have heard the sermon of men but understand the sermon of the rods do you know what happened the rod that became a serpent ate that of the man and did not increase in size and he picked it up that is a sermon dominion over time and matter is real dominion God was saying something there oh but I'm not impressed enough and then one plague after another you can see that Pharaoh was not a normal human being you can see the Luciferian manifestation this is why some of you need to pray for your children you flog them they come back and see misbehave they come out of jail they come out of the prison cell will you do it again no two days they are back again it's not normal 
that determination is not a human determination it came from it's an antichrist spirit empowering people like that there are people when they are going back to prison they don't even ask them any question they just say just pass go back just go register your name change your clothes and go in there <laughs> can i tell you this creation is awaiting the manifestation of the sons of god the sons of god are not here to repeat science science is an advantage but believe me god didn't take us this far to just come and be scientific i i, I guarantee you it doesn't take fasting to be scientific it doesn't take bible study to be scientific what we are manifesting is higher than science he did not just bring us to, to just do sociology or to do all of no 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 there will be a spectacular display before jesus christ comes the manifestation of a godlike dimension of power and grace in and through the saints it has been written so that it will not be changed the bible we will begin to see people manifest dimensions of intelligence i do i say this i like to study a lot about the world and all of that i like to study about ufos aliens for some reason i find those things interesting since i don't watch movies and all of that i now focus on those things and i read some of the ancient science that you know they tell us we are not alone you know there are all kinds of people around the world these ones these species of people and then i just read up all those things and in my mind i said no wonder human beings behave the way they behave there is a minimal level of wickedness that a normal human being should have when your wickedness stretches beyond that border it's not you again it's you and another spirit is that true no matter how wicked men are there is a limit when your wickedness stretches beyond a certain threshold you are empowered by a spirit the same way human beings cannot love and be kind beyond a certain threshold when you move past that threshold you are not alone too there has to be a spirit empowering you we need to be supernatural people you see our world today and i don't mean to cause trouble across the body of christ but we have to be careful there is a gradual exaltation of philosophies and science above the supernatural why because a lot of people just believe that societies and territories have been changed through their reception of science we're not against that but let me tell you sincerely this faith work that we are part of it came by a supernatural means it is sustained by a supernatural means find out how we are going to leave the earth it's not scientific what is the skyscraper that will take us to heaven with one last that blast of the trumpet those who are dead in Christ will rise explain the name of the scientific process that gives them new bodies immediately what is it called explain the name of the scientific process that suddenly draws gravity and we who are alive and shouting the name of Jesus will be on our way going and those who are laughing at us will wave them and say I told you I gave you a chance explain the name of that scientific process am i against science not at all but let us be careful because the flesh realm including science is satan's domain he does not want you to rise or see reality beyond the three-dimensional plane because provided you are under the influence of the three-dimensional realm you are in satan's domain he can manipulate systems and structures he can play around with your mind and destroy your destiny but when you rise to that realm and that plane your life becomes extraordinary we have so many doctors in this ministry there are many professionals it is not unusual that if someone is sick the natural course is to administer a treatment and that is wonderful but what if the doctor is not there 
and that person may not have the chance to see the doctor is there a possibility of administering something powerful who taught the doctor that you can stand before a tree and pick a leaf and process it in a lab and it becomes an injection and you put it in someone even the doctors depend on the supernatural for treatment the injection does not get to your heart when they put that injection wherever it enters your body they leave the rest do you not know that every other thing that happens is a miracle i read a bit about the human body and i'm surprised at the many activities that happen in the human body do you know when a human being is sleeping science tells us and medicine tells us do you know how many activities in your body shut down just because you are sleeping that means if as you are awake looking at me now you may think it's just your heart and maybe your brain that is working think again if you know the the it's almost like a riot in your body all the things the cells working if you don't understand they repeat it again this body is as busy as anything and yet there is an invisible hand that keeps it every time i'm in the air i think about a lot of things if i'm not sleeping and one of the things i think about is the miracle of a material body that was created from metals runs and then lifts and now we are above the clouds and we are under the mercy of the creator I'm not, I'm not talking about the dexterity of the plane moving i'm saying literally for 50 minutes or five hours or whatever hours you are under the mercy of the creator do you know that if that plane goes down there is no amount of the, you, you can see the limitation flying helps me to know where science ends the moment they lift science says i've tried whatever you believe let it continue with you when you are coming down come down to my realm i will pick it up from where i'm limited and land you safely and the plane is moving and i'm sure that god watches in heaven and he's just saying oh dear these people do not even know who is flying them it's not like they met him to verify whether he's drunk whether he's all right whether he fought with his wife whether he's under a psychological problem you just know that the owner of the plane gave the man the, the, the access and you now had your confidence to sit down there why wouldn't i trust god listen i travel a lot and if i can place my destiny in the hands of an airline god bless them a number of them are my people i god bless you i'm not i'm not speaking against them literally when we are flying in the night i don't know where we are i don't know where we, we believe everything they tell us <laughs> and yet these are human beings that can make mistakes nobody ever says verify that we are we are you know how are you sure we are safe And yet the creator of the ends of the earth when he now beckons that we trust him we bring all kinds of flimsy reasons and say god before i take this step prove to me yet we jump into the plane and sit down quietly i'm using flight because almost everybody here or many of us here are maybe frequent flyers in some way just see what you do every day and every time what of the driver that drives you you've been hearing that they are kidnapping yet you are still going to travel tomorrow you would think that will make you afraid you will still go and come back the longest sea journey i've had was one hour 20 minutes or so i made up my mind that i won't repeat that again 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 not from the riverine area i've made my contribution as far as my experience is concerned my goodness let me tell you when you are and, and these are military people carrying me they are not amateurs just said lord well for me to live is christ and to die is gain if i die the only thing is that i didn't finish my assignment but at least i 
are we blessed we need to tap into supernatural dimensions of the power of God everything that is natural has a supernatural expression I repeat everything that is natural has a supernatural expression when you go to the market and you meet a trader you say I want to buy a wrapper they will ask you original or um, what's the other, or original or maybe imitation depending on whatever money you have there is one that looks like it but it's not it there is one that is really it everything that is natural is like that imitation there is an original the Bible says everything that appears Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1 and 3 that it came from a realm that is unseen hear me there is a natural cause of prosperity but there is supernatural prosperity there is a natural medical cause of healing but there is supernatural healing there is a natural cause for growth but there is supernatural growth the choice is yours they both have their consequences if you choose to live a natural life there are many 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 things that you will be limited you will not be able to do many things but you can choose to command the supernatural even in your life are we blessed so the supernatural grants you empowerment to subdue the forces fighting against your destiny and against kingdom advance and then it empowers you to rise to a dimension where you command supernatural possibilities